When we think of algae, it's usually linked to taking a dip in the sea, because in its simplest form, algae is seaweed, or kelp. But for a group of Israeli scientists and developers, algae is being used to produce cosmetics, diet supplements, and food colorants. At this production plant near Jordan, algae is extracted from the Red Sea and synthesized to create multiple products. Development principles say this is cutting-edge biotech engineering. One of the main advantages, I would say, for using microalgae or developing business out of microalgae is that first you can grow them uh, in the desert, like what we are doing here. And uh, so we are not competing on fertile soil like other plants. And um, the technology that we are using, this closed system, is water saving. The process of converting algae to a usable product taps into using desert sunlight and salt water pumped from beneath the desert floor. The algae undergoes photosynthesis, turning it from green to red, ultimately producing astaxanthin, a deep pigmented form rich in antioxidants. It is then conventionally applied for use in face creams, shampoo, dietary supplements and red tea, or as a food coloring enhancer. Scientists say the microalgae product market is unique. There are only 15 processing factories in the world, but future uses are expected to expand exponentially. Out of 50,000 different species, there are maybe 10 or 15 uh, institutes or, or companies in the world that actually make their make microalgae their business. We even didn't scrape the tip of the iceberg in terms of microalgae. Marketing executives are negotiating with Chinese interests on development collaboration, and as global fossil fuel reserves dwindle and oil costs climb, scientists here are also developing microalgae to be used as biofuel. The whole area of uh, alga fuel, third generation biofuel, is still in its diapers. It will still take at least 10 or 15 years of research for it to mature to something that can be used commercially. Products using microalgae are grown in the desert using solar power and brackish water pumped up from beneath the desert floor. So it's an environmentally friendly process and cost effective. If researchers are able to also harness microalgae to produce biofuel, they'll be even further ahead of the game. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, in the Aravah Desert.